I'm Guy Park from University of Cambridge, and I'm here on behalf of Cancer Research UK Early Detection Program. First of all, um, big, big thank you from everyone at Twist Bioscience give us an opportunity uh, to talk about our research. A uh, bit about introduction here. Uh, our lab is under CRUK Early Detection Program and part of ICGC. We believe we can improve survival rate by detecting cancer earlier when the treatment is more effective. To achieve this, we are studying early disease biology and minimally invasive tests using liquid biopsy, especially cell-free DNA. A little bit about cell-free DNA. Cell-free DNA is more fragmented DNA found in the bloodstream a part of a cell-free DNA originate from tumor cells is called circular tumor DNA. As it contains cancer genomic information, researchers tend to use as molecular biomarker to detect or to monitor the cancer progression. Since previous studies prove circular tumor DNA analysis is suitable for disease monitoring, we question the possibility of detecting cancer early using current circular tumor DNA analysis. To answer the question, we need to face downside behind this astonishing concept. One is we only have a limited number of starting materials. The likelihood of presence of circular tumor DNA is getting lower by stage by stage that the possibility of presenting circular tumor DNA can be below as 0.01%. Since hotspot mutations were well studied um, throughout the cancer research, people applied hotspot mutations to figure out this circular tumor DNA analysis can be detected by hotspot-oriented manner. But as we know, there are cancer types that does not have only um, hotspot mutations on top of that, the heterogeneity or various types of signal often contributed to biological noises that complex the problem and increase the chance to have first positive or negative result. It directly implies the barriers to te technical noise because next generation sequencing error rate is known to be around 0.1%. Another thing we need to keep in mind is that if we only focus on single mutations, we can't be sure where the mutations come from. Therefore, we need to find a way to link up the missing information between tissue and cell-free DNA. We see the methylation marker as opportunity of detecting cancer-specific and tissue-specific markers from cell-free DNA. Since some cancers, like prostate cancer, DNA methylation is known as stable marker compared to single mutations. We think methylation marker could be a solution for increase the detection sensitivity and decrease the limit of detection by increase the number of target molecules, like, uh, likewise previously reported using patient-specific panel. However, the gold standard bicephalic conversion method necessary for methylation analysis destroys up to 90% of starting materials. As we are starting with low amount of DNA, we had to sort out conversion method to rescue DNA molecule as much as possible. This is our overall workflow. Uh, we take out blood, extract the cell-free DNA, and convert and capture the region of interest to get the differential methylated regions using NGS technology. Since we were finding the best fit into conversion method for cell-free DNA, we tested bisulfate conversion method and enzymatic method for further methylation sequencing analysis. By comparing various bisulfate conversion method, the enzymatic method performed by um, best by applying circular tumor DNA or cell-free DNA library preparations. As we know, bisulfate conversion method degrades the nature of DNA. 
we could find evidence that enzymatic methods conserve the nuclear dermal positioning pattern that usually can um, find in cell-free DNA, you know, characteristic of cell-free DNA. Okay. The preservation of cell-free DNA pattern is the important in cell-free DNA research area because um, we now know the fragmentation pattern is different by normal cell-free DNA and cancer cell-free DNA. Moreover, enzymatic method was not only detect individual cytosines accurately, but also covered 15% more CPG sites than by sulfide conversion method. This means enzymatic method increased the opportunity to detect more differentially methylated regions. As we were optimizing our workflow using targeted capture approach, we realize we are still losing a lot of information due to high, higher number of repetitive regions. We can always sequence deeper, but it will raise the cost. So we wanted to optimize the targeted capture part, and we, it, we <laughs> iterated with twist bioscience whether we can recover more information and whether it is more cost effective. Uh, this part is actually part that uh, we fell in love with twist bioscience at first sight, but to have fair comparison, uh, <laughs> we first look at the force for the enrichment, uniformity, and on and off target, um, target regions. Twist showed three times better for the enrichment, and uniformity was much better and higher on target rate and less of target rate than other company based design that I worked for like using years and years and I optimized so much. I spent so much time. And <laughs> the cost, if you think about cost, because I'm from Cambridge, we are very you know, pessimistic and then we, ha we don't have money, so the cost, the cost was like four times cheaper compared to other companies. It was like, yes, for us. So yeah, and then we look at the region of interest that we are interested in. Blue line is cancer, red line is control samples. We were excited to see we can draw a clear line between the control samples and cancer samples by having less background noise interruption. Trust me, I hate background noise. So we believe that our method will have better detection limit of compared to current method. And we are currently analyzing hundreds of samples in cancer detection study. Going forward, we are excited to, to test impact of assay to improve cancer detection and patient outcomes with a line of sight to analyze large prospective studies through International Alliance for Cancer Detection. Of course, we are going forward with twist bioscience panel, methylation panel. I would like to thank you, everyone, who supported and worked with us. And I'm happy to take a question later in this session. Thank you.